Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Do The Work where we're going to cover question 44 of the math proficiency test for teachers in Ontario. Here we're asked which number is not less than 752,928. Uh, so we have four different options and we just need to compare numbers, okay? So to do so, we can review the theory of numbers and how to do that for multi-digit numbers. And it's relatively simple. I think uh, most of you will be able to, especially given that it's the last question here that you've had to review all the math before that, beforehand, then I would encourage you to give it a shot because I think you'll be able to do this one. And there's many ways we could go about this, but I'll, I'll choose to go about it in a more, a uh, little bit theoretical way because that way I can teach a little bit of theory but then we'll, we'll just uh, do it by intuition after. And that's personally what I would do, but I'm a teacher, so I'm here to teach you the theory behind the questions in case you're stuck and you can't do it intuitively. So we have 752,928. Just to say that word, you kind of have to know how much each number is worth. This thing is 700,000. So that's the 700 and the three zeros. So 700,000. 52,000, well, that's 50,000. 2,000, well, that's 2,000. 928, so 920, so that's one zero. And eight is just units. So if you want, that's the hundreds of thousands. So I'll just write 100, 100 thou. That's tens of thou, and then that's just the thousands. That's the hundreds. That's the tenths, and then that's the units. And if we had decimals, then it'd be it would be the the one tenth, one hundredth, one one hundredth, one one thousandth, and so on. So here we have the first number. So that's seven hundred thousand plus 52,000, so plus, so I'll just write it like this, 700,000 plus 50,000 plus 2,000. So right now we're on, we're on equal. We have 700,000, we have 50,000, we have 2,000, and then we're, we need to compare with the 900. Okay, so we both have 900, so we're still equal. Then we have 20 and then we have 30. So this one is 30 and then plus one, but we don't even need to do the plus one because I'll just write plus dot 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 because here 30 is not less than 20. So we, we're done. Technically we know it's A. We can do it just like that. So, and then I'll, I'll just do the, the second one just so we, we get an idea. Instead of rewriting everything, I'll just copy paste because it's just really the last part that's different and my I'm not sure I can handle writing that night neatly once more so we have plus 10 because that's 19 so we have one tenth and then plus so we know 10 is less than 20 so maybe I'll just write it so here 30 is more than 20 and then here we have that 10 is less than 20 so this one is less so I'll just write, uh, maybe I'll write more and then less. And then here we have the, the next two, we have 700,000. And we, we know it's A, but we can just compare our answer here. So we have 700,000 plus 49,000. So here we don't even need to do the, the rest because already... 49,000 is already less than 50,000. So we don't even need to go further here. So we know it's not, not these two here. So if we try to do this intuitively, we could just look at these numbers and be like 749,000 is less than 750,000. So we know, we definitely know it's not these two, they are less. And we're looking for a number which is not less. In other words, we're trying to find a number which is more, so more means greater in mathematics, 
than 752,928. More uh, greater or equal, because technically it's less, uh, it's not less. If it's equal, then it's not less than that. And then this one, they're both very close. So it's either this one, it's either A or B. But then we, if we look at 919 and 931, there, there's only one that's not less than 928, and that's A. Lastly, we can uh, verify our, our answer with a programming software. So I personally use R with R Studio, and that the only reason I'm using that, that's not where, what I'd suggest to use or anything, just because I'm using R quite a bit for my program in statistics. It's, a, it's more of a statistics language. So that, that's what I, I use and because I'm comfortable with it now. So all you do is you write the two numbers and if it's true, they'll say true. And if it's false, they'll say false. So here for A, I said 752,931 uh, is less than 752,928. And the answer is false. It's not less. So I'll write not less. So that's why it is this one. And that's that. So thanks for watching all, all the videos. I really appreciate the support. If you want to support the channel further, you can hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. It's good for the YouTube al algorithms. And we're, we're done for the practice test for the math proficiency test here. Thanks for supporting it. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the other videos of Do The Work.